Hey Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys being here. So here we're getting ready to do a general reading for your sign. Um, this may or it may not resonate with all of you watching. Okay, again, this is for the general public. So please just take it how it fits for you. All right, so let's go through the main energies first and then we'll go through and clarify. And we'll also pull some advice messages from Spirit at the end. All right, so let's start with you first, Cappy. Um, you guys have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. A few of you may have a child with this person. Okay, only a few of you. I feel like you do still have some sort of feelings for them. All right. Maybe you're not 100% over this, but I feel like there could have been a breakup or a separation here for some of you because the Nine of Pentacles is about singlehood. Yeah, so some of you, you're kind of off on your own here, just doing your own thing. Um, you may still want to talk to them though or hear from them or some of you might still actually be together with this person. Maybe somebody's at a distance though different city state or country or they live a ways away for a few of you with that eight of wands this you know can speak about travel but most of all this is about communication and um action and i do feel like some of you are still attracted to them but there's um maybe a situation where there's no strings attached or you guys are not in an official relationship okay now in the past position we've got the two of cups the four of pentacles the six of cups and the empress a few of you could have been dealing with a libra here or um, maybe there's a pregnancy or a small child involved. Yes, definitely kids here with the Six of Cups as well. But I feel like there was a very, very strong connection that you and this person had. And maybe somebody did not want to let this go with this Four of Pentacles. But I also feel like somebody was being very stubborn or kind of closed off, refused to open up or be honest about how they feel or what was going on here. Okay. Now, um, your person, they've got the death card, could have been dealing with Scorpio, the seven of pentacles and the hermit, also Virgo energy here. Yeah, some of you, this may have ended, okay? This speaks about endings. Um, somebody here is waiting though, with the seven of pentacles, waiting for communication to come in or waiting for another relationship to end possibly, okay? If this person's dealing with somebody else or if you're dealing with somebody else, okay? But yes, it feels like they may have ghosted you here or have stopped talking or maybe you did this cappy with the hermit. This is um, more of a withdrawn, silent type of energy. So I feel like somebody pulled back yet they're still waiting or hoping that maybe um, you'll come back or you guys can start talking again possibly, all right? So let's go through and clarify. Okay, so we're gonna start with your energy first. Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Cups for Capricorns. Clarify the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups here. All right, one more. Please clarify the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so we got the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Judgment. Yeah, maybe some of you, you changed your mind here. The Judgment can represent change, okay? Okay or making a final decision. Maybe you guys ended this, okay? Maybe somebody had too many options with the Seven of Cups here. I don't know if it was you or them. Or you guys just may not want to be, again, in an official relationship. Maybe you wanna explore your options or you don't wanna be tied down, okay? Um, and then with the Seven of Wands, this can be about defensive energy. Some of you, maybe you're not necessarily defensive, but you got some sort of guard up when it comes to this person. Others, others of you, maybe you still wanna fight for this connection, okay? You're not ready to let it go yet. All right, now let's clarify their energy. Spirit, please clarify the death card, the um, seven of pentacles and the hermit for a Capricorn's person. Clarify the death card, the seven of pentacles and the hermit. All right, one more. Clarify the death card, the seven of pentacles and the hermit. All right, so they got the Queen of Wands. They're still attracted to you. Um, but with this Six of Swords being here and the Ten of Pentacles, some of you, it may seem like they're moving on here or they may feel like if you take too long to come around, they're going to feel like they don't have any other choice but to let go and move on. So it is kind of like they're waiting, but they may end up um, leaving this situation behind. Okay, guys, um, maybe this already happened for a few of you. Maybe to focus on their finances and their stability here, just doing their own thing with that um, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody may already be married too. Okay, guys, but let's clarify your energy again. Um, Spirit, please clarify the, um, the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Cups, oops, and the Judgment for Capricorns. 
clarify the seven of wands the seven of cups and the judgment One. some of you this person they still want you they do even if they've kind of pulled back um <clears throat> Maybe they want you to be the one to show some interest or come forward here. Okay, guys. Yeah, but I also feel an energy of detachment on them as well. Like maybe they don't want to be um, completely tied down either. Okay. okay, one more. Clarify the seven of wands, the seven of cups. All right, so we got the four of wands. Some of you... Um, maybe you lived or you may still live with this person here. The four wands represents a home life. Um, could be a twin flame connection. You guys have a lot of chemistry here and the devil could be, well, actually <laughs> that is your card. Okay, Cappy. Some of you may be dealing with another Capricorn and the ace of cups. Some of you want new love. Okay. With this ace of cups, this can speak about newness. Others of you, you're still attached to this person. Okay. You haven't gotten over them completely or you're already still dealing with them um but maybe the connection might seem or be a little bit toxic here with the uh devil card all right so let's clarify their energy again and then we'll pull your guys' advice messages okay spirit please clarify the queen of wands oops the queen of wands the six of swords and the ten of pentacles for uh capricorn's person Clarify the Ten of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, one more. Okay, so they've got the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. They miss you, yep, but they could just choose to fall back from this um, situation. So with this Five of Pentacles here, this is about somebody feeling kind of left out in the cold, rejected, abandoned. Again, I don't know if they left or ghosted you or they're just not being very talkative here um or maybe you left okay and they feel left out by you basically all right so some of you this is about somebody from the past okay an ex or somebody that you have kids with uh for a few of you the six of cups is about um nostalgia missing someone as well all right so yeah i feel like they miss you but they're gonna just kind of choose to fall back here with this four of swords this is about taking a break maybe not a permanent ending okay yeah, so some of you, I don't feel like this is completely over, but maybe you guys just need some space right now, okay? So let's go through and um, pull some advice messages, okay, Cappy? These may have to do with this connection or the situation, or it could just be general advice, okay, for you or your life or whatever. Just take it how, um, how it fits. Spirit, show me three messages that you have for um, Capricorns here or cross watchers, okay? This may um, resonate with you too, all right? um show me three messages that you have for uh this reading here spirit all right one more all right so we have surrender to play and it says take a break from overthinking a goal do something fun play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation so maybe you guys i was gonna say you need to get out and have some fun but obviously with everything that's going on with COVID and all that, it's kind of hard to do, you know, fun activities outside the house. Some of you, you need to find some type of way to relax though, or just to, I don't know, maybe um, be creative or artistic or something is what I'm picking up for some of you, or to just, um, you know, relax, have a good time somehow, okay? Uh, try not to stress or overthink things, either with this connection or other stuff in your life, all right? Now we also have surrender stress, yep, and that kind of plays right back into that, okay, guys? So it says, take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Yeah, so some of you need to um, try to stop stressing. I know that's a lot easier said than done sometimes, right, guys? But spirit doesn't want you to be in that type of energy, okay? Sometimes it's hard to come up with solutions and whatnot if you're constantly overthinking or stressing out, okay? Especially about things you can't necessarily change right now, all right? So we also have surrender to the wisdom of your body. And it says, listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, then move forward, all right? Maybe this has to do with health concerns um, for some of you, okay? And I'm not trying to scare you or anything here, but, um, you know, maybe somebody needs to 
uh, focus on, you know, um, improving their health and whatnot, or this could be about you listening to your intuition, okay, when it comes to a certain person or situation or whatnot. All right, guys, so I hope that made sense. If it does, uh, I mean, if it did and it resonated, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And um, also be sure to hit the bell notification as well. That way you're aware of when I upload new content, okay? I wish you guys the best. Take care.